So we started with something that's already really efficient, and then you use really efficient motors and really efficient batteries, and you design the electronics and the software really well, then you get basically the lightest electric vehicle that's ever been made. So the last mile of transportation is this huge problem that hasn't been solved yet. Once you get off of a public transit system, whether it's a bus or a train or anything else, how do you get along that last mile to your destination? So Boosted Boards does is it gives you a really portable vehicle that you can use in conjunction with public transit. A normal longboard weighs about eight pounds, and on our prototype boards, we've added only four pounds. And we have a six mile range and a 20 mile an hour top speed, and we can climb hills. A couple years ago, that would have been completely unheard of. But with that, we've added regenerative braking. So not only can you stop easily, but you recharge the battery when you do it. Right now, we have some awesome partnerships. We're working with one of the best longboarding companies in the world, Loaded. And the idea behind that was that we want to start with really great stuff. We felt that it was important to keep this accessible to many people. Longboarding is actually closer to snowboarding and to surfing. We're taking that niche market of longboarders being able to expand it so that it's easier for people to learn. Storm is the most affordable electric bike ever built and it can reach top speeds of 20 miles an hour. Okay, well first off, uh, how do we get going with this thing? It's one push button and bike will take off. Okay, and normal brakes, you know, front and back wheels? Normal no hydraulic brakes. No electric brakes or anything? No, hydraulic brakes. Okay, and then I see here, like right in the middle of this, this giant yellow pack. This, I assume, is the battery? Yes, that's the battery pack. Okay, uh, how much like power can that hold? Like, how far am I going to be going? On uh, you're going to be going about 20 to 25 miles. Okay, and that's on how long of a charge? Like, how uh, long do I have to leave this plug in? About 90 drive? minutes. So the most noticeable thing on this bike, besides the giant battery pack, is the giant tires on the front yes. and back. Okay, so why use these instead of like normal uh, like street bikes? It handles very stable, it's all terrain, so you can ride on the street or off-road, so uh, it's mostly for stability. Okay. At high speeds, it just makes you feel so much more comfortable riding it. How heavy is this? Not that heavy, but I wouldn't want to carry it on the subway. Okay, well anyway, I'm really excited to get going, so Sounds good. Uh, let's go, I guess, start this bike ride. Yeah. The Stormy bike is perfect for the suburban commuter, someone who doesn't live that far from the office and doesn't have to go up and down lots of hills. It's pretty heavy, so if you have to take it up on the subway or potentially have to go over hilly terrain for long distances, it would not be fun to squeeze it into tight spaces or to have to carry it yourself up and down. The bike is fun to ride. It's got a smooth acceleration curve, neither kicking you nor feeling like it takes forever to get up to speed. And the tires, while kind of huge and maybe awkward looking, really do give a smooth ride on all terrain. At $4.99 at Indiegogo, it's a great option for someone who wants to try out having an electric bike but doesn't feel like investing $1,000 or more right off the bat.
So getting right into it, um, this is a folding bike with 20 inch wheels and uh, 18 speeds and disc brakes, which we installed an electric motor kit on that's specifically designed by Nice Wheels. So this is our Nice Wheels decal on our beautiful 48 volt black battery. Then over here we have our brushless and gearless 350 watt hub motor. So all together, this is designed to propel you at speeds of 20 miles per hour for a range of about 20 to 30 miles at a charge. Let's take a look at the handlebar. The way you turn the bike on is just by pressing this uh, button here on the top left. And what you see is a screen that's showing you everything you need to know about the bike. You have your battery life down here. You have your power button, certain modes that you can change, the information it's displaying. This over here is your speed. And then you have a plus button and a minus button on this side uh, to add power with plus or subtract it with minus, as you have over here on the left side of the handlebar. This remote does exactly the same function as changing the plus and minus, and you have this little red throttle button, which is really what allows you to go without pedaling at all. So now that we've taken a look at the console, let's drop down and take a look at that battery. Um, what we did here is we actually designed a special bracket that um, allows this battery to fit nicely right on top of the curved surface of the frame. Um, we worked in partnership with Bionics on this motor system and that's what's really powering the guts of this and it's why you get such a smooth performance. The way it works is one of these is like the dominant skate, so you put that foot in front and uh, you sort of just push off with your back foot and lean a little bit and they propel you. These are very difficult to ride. <laughs> Man. Oh, it took me probably 25 to 30 solid straight minutes of doing everything I possibly could to get these to work. So the subtlety of pointing your toes down is like everything that it, it is to ride this thing, where you sort of just let the motors take you. So the back wheel not only provides stability, but it also acts as a brake. Each skate weighs seven pounds, <laughs> and when they're on your feet, it is very tiring at first, especially because you know you sort of do like a lot of panic running when I'm first uh, learning to ride. But once you pick it up, these skates propel you, and you can go 12 miles an hour on expert mode. And we tried out the R6 model, which has a range of six miles, cleverly named. Uh, this costs $4.99, and they're shipping now. And there's also the R8 and R10, also based on how much range they get. And those are $5.99 and $6.99 respectively. So these are the Rocket Skates. They're awesome, really hard to ride, but they're awesome.